Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video, we will have a look at Route 53 Zone Delegation, also known as Subdomain Delegation. Zone Delegation is when you want a separate team or account to manage an entire hosted zone, which is basically a subdomain of an already existing domain. This can be a requirement for multi-environment application that uses a staging or environment name as a part of URL. Let's have a look at this practically. As you can see, I'm already logged into my management console and I'm on Route 53 dashboard. From here, I'm going to click on Hosted Zones. For this practical, we will use cloudlabs.tk. For those who are not aware about how to register a free domain and manage it using Route 53, you can have a look at my previous video on Route 53. You will find the link in the description. Let's have a look at this Hosted Zone. So you can see here cloudlabs.tk and I've made a single entry in this for testing. Let's test it out. As you can see, it can resolve the address. Now to delegate a zone, we will have to create a different hosted zone. Now this hosted zone could be created in the same account or it could be in a different account. For this lab's purposes, I'm going to use the same account to create an additional hosted zone ending with the same domain. So let's create dave.cloudlabs.tk and let me create the hosted zone there it is and let's create one more now these two subdomains that i have created could be in a different account let's create an entry in dave.cloudlabs.tk to verify whether this subdomain works so i'm going to create a record that says app and the FQDN is going to be app.dave.cloudlabs.tk. Let's define this as the address and create a record. Let's check this out. I'm going to verify this address by sending a query. Let's see if this could be resolved. And when I do, you can see the execution was successful but i was not able to get any address out of it let's try and understand why so i'm going to trace this and when i trace you can see here it is able to reach cloudlabs.tk but not beyond it so if it cannot reach dave.cloudlabs.tk there is no way how it can fetch the address for app and that's the problem you see i created the subdomain but the entry for the subdomains name server is not available in cloudlabs.tk that's exactly what the problem is let's do that so i'm going to copy the name servers of dave.cloudlabs.tk and i'm going to make an entry for them in cloudlabs.tk for this we will create a record type dave the record type that you are going to choose is ns that is name server and paste the name servers over here let's create record and there you go we have name server entries for how to reach dave.cloudlabs.tk let's verify this by repeating the query once again so i say dig plus trace and i want to see the address of app.dave.cloudlabs.tk now, if you look at the entry here, it has successfully resolved the IP address. And you can also see that cloudlabs.tk name server was able to redirect to the name servers of dave.cloudlabs.tk. We can repeat and do the same thing for test environment that is test.cloudlabs.tk. This way you can easily delegate the responsibility for an entire hosted zone to another environment or team. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.